Hi, Dr. Nelson here from CounselingTransforms.com, where we help our clients achieve their best self, better relationships, and a more balanced life. Today's topic is neutralizing a feeling storm by taxing working memory. Research seems to indicate that with dual attention, like paying attention to different things at the same time, we can overload or tax our working memory. And this can help us work through emotions more quickly and also bring down feeling storms. In essence, this process can help us to neutralize an intense emotion and make it more manageable. So the first thing we need to do is rate our, the emotional intensity of about whatever's going on. This will work for anger, fear, hurt, sadness, all kinds of different things. It also tends to be effective for somatic symptoms, like where I feel something like a pain in my stomach and there's no medical reason for it because it's emotionally generated. This technique is based on EMDR. However, EMDR has eight phases, so this is not EMDR. I wanna be clear on that. However, it's a technique that's based on EMDR. One of the easiest ways to do this is to add a bilateral so bilaterals are when we go left brain, right brain, left brain, right brain. There's a number of ways we can do that. Probably the easiest one, especially for this purpose and demonstrating this technique is uh, complex tapping. So how you do that is I'm gonna do it this way so that you can see what I'm doing is rather than the normal bilateral tapping where we can get used to this really quickly and then it doesn't tax our working memory, we're gonna use complex tapping. So it's gonna be a tapping that has a pattern that isn't easy when we add other things to it. So we're gonna go two, two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one. So this is very similar to critical incident desensitization that we've talked about in previous videos, but what we're doing is we're adding complex tapping. Like with normal CID, you're going to rate the feeling intensity, zero to 10. Once you do that, so let's say it's an eight, then you start two, two, one, two, two, one. And so you'll start the complex tapping and then you will start naming things. Brown, orange, blue, like colors, uh, cities, things in your room or wherever you're at. Basically you have to maintain attention. That's why they call it dual attention. So while I'm tapping, I also start doing something else with my mind and hold on to both of them. So naming colors, naming objects, naming cities, naming states, counting backwards out loud from 20. Or if you're really good at this and you get the tapping down really where you can do that almost automatically then make it harder in your thinking process by for example, counting backwards from 100 by fives. That's going to tax your working memory. And so when I hold a feeling, an image, a sensation, and I add the bilaterals, especially the complex tapping, and maintain dual attention on something that's hard to do all of that with, it lets my brain adaptively process that information a lot quicker. And that tends to neutralize a feeling storm a lot quicker. If it's not going down, then usually there's a blocking belief, like there's something I cling to, for example, if I don't worry, something catastrophic is going to happen, so I must worry, and I'm not willing to let that go. That can block or get in the way. The other thing is usually that the, the dual attention is not taxing my working memory, so I need to amplify it, I need to make it harder. So I can make this more effective by taxing the working memory more intensely and making sure that I don't have a blocking belief that I'm clinging to that can get in the way of, in essence, it won't allow my brain to adaptively process that information. So give this technique a try if you have an intense emotion that you want to bring the intensity down or you have a recurring thought or image or sensation that is troubling and you want to try to take some of the intensity uh, away from that thing. Uh, a little disclaimer for this process is it tends to be effective with something around 92% of people. If it's not and you find yourself triggered and you're unable to self-regulate or calm yourself down, then you really probably need to see a professional like us to help you work through those issues and, and uh, identify and remove blocking beliefs or whatever might get in the way of you being able to calm yourself and adaptively process that memory, image, sensation, or feeling. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day.